So far, we've seen how to declare an array variable and how to assign values to it. I've used an array variable called animal list because I'm storing a list of animals. But you could store a list of anything. It could be cities or famous people or planets, whatever you want. Now, at the moment, the user types in a number between 1 and 10, and that number is used to select one of those animals. What I'm going to show you now is how we can select one of those animals randomly. I'm going to get rid of this input box statement here and type in the rnd command. What the rnd command will do is generate a number that's greater than or equal to zero and less than one. That can't possibly be a whole number. It's going to be something like 0.5, which is a half, or 0.372. What we want is an integer between 1 and 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply this by 10. The multiply symbol when we're programming is this little star, the so-called asterisk. So now I'm going to get a random number between 0 and 10. But again, it's not going to be an integer. It's going to have a decimal point with something after it. So what I want to do is convert this into an integer between 0 and 10. And I can do that by wrapping it up inside another function called the int function. What the int function does is it takes everything after the decimal point and discards it. So, for example, 9.9 .9 will become just 9. We're nearly there. I have a random integer between 0 and 9, if you think about it. I want a random number between 1 and 10, so I'm just going to add 1 to this. And there we have it. We're generating a random number between 1 and 10, putting it into this variable and using it to select one of our animals. We then display the length of that word to the user. So let's give that a try. 3. Whatever word's been selected has a length of 3. 6. 6 again. This is actually random. We're choosing a word at random. Now let's make that message a little bit more friendly for the user. What I'm doing here is called string concatenation. I'm taking a string here, your word has got, and then whatever this expression returns, which is the length of the randomly chosen word, and then I'm concatenating on the word letters. These things here are called ampersands. These are my concatenation operators. I like to think of them as little knots which I use to tie strings together. Let's see what we get now. Your word has got three letters. Three letters again. Six letters. Three letters. And the final thing I want to do is put this message onto the form so that the user always knows how many letters there are in the word. You might remember I put a label on the form just for that purpose. Here it is. At the moment it hasn't got a caption. But that label, I called it LBL message. So I'm going to say me dot, now watch this, I type LBL and I can see all of the controls on my form that start with the letters LBL. There's my label called LBL message. I can select it from this list by pressing the tab key. And now dot caption equals, and I want it to be the same as the string that was being displayed by the message box. So I'm simply going to copy it. What I'm getting here is called a syntax error. It's because this line here doesn't make any sense. And VBA is picking it up and complaining about it. That's fine. I know there's something wrong with it. I haven't finished typing it yet. So I'm just going to ignore that. And copy this. And paste it here. Okay, so I get a message box on the screen. But I also 
change the caption of the label called LBL message, which is on the form. We refer to the form as me. Let's see this. Your word has got three letters and I can see it here as well. Do it again. Your word has got five letters. It's changed the caption here. We're almost ready to let the user start guessing. <laughs> 